welcome the Prime Minister. Oh, I must welcome my wave. Hello, Natalie. Hello, David. I mean, sir. Shit, I can't believe I've just said that. <laughs> and now I've gone and said shit. Twice. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. It's fine, it's fine. You could have said fuck and then we'd have been in real trouble. Thank you, sir. I did have an awful premonition I was going to fuck up on my first day. Oh, piss it. <laughs> right, I'll go get my things and then let's fix the country, shall we? Yeah, I can't see why not. Right, who do you have to screw around here to get a cup of tea and a chocolate biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah, come in. These have just come through from the Treasury. Uh huh. And these are for you. Excellent. Thanks a lot. I am. Um, I was hoping you'd win. Not that I wouldn't have been nice to the other bloke too. Just always giving him the boring biscuits for no chocolate. Ha! <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks, yeah. Natalie. You're the Prime Minister, for God's sake. Come on through. I'm sorry your wife couldn't make it, by the way. Oh, so is she, although she would have been kind of lonely, I'm sure. Yes, pathetic, isn't it? Just uh, never been able to tie a girl down. Not sure that politics and dating really go together. Really? I never found that. Yeah, well, the difference is you're still sickeningly handsome, whereas I look increasingly like my Aunt Mildred. Very jealous of your plane, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. We love that thing, I'll tell you. Ah, uh, oh, Natalie. Hi. Morning, ma'am. How's your day so far? <laughs> Excellent. My goodness, it's a pretty little son of a bitch right there. Did you see those pipes? Yeah, yeah, no, she's, she's terrific. Got that jumba. It's great scotch. I'll, um, I'll be going then. Uh, Natalie, I hope to see much more of you as our two great countries work toward a better future. Thank you, sir. Ah, uh, yes, Peter. Mr. President, uh, has it been a good visit? Very satisfactory indeed. We uh, got what we came for, and our special relationship is still very special. Um, Prime Minister? I love that word, relationship. It covers all manner of sins, doesn't it? I fear that this has become a bad relationship. A relationship based on the President taking exactly what he wants, and casually ignoring all those things that really matter to um, Britain. We may be a small country, but we're a great one too. A country of Shakespeare, Churchill, the Beatles, Sean Connery, Harry Potter, <laughs> David Beckham's right foot, David Beckham's left foot, come to that. And a friend who bullies us is no longer a friend. And since bullies only respond to strength, from now onward, I will be prepared to be much stronger. And the president should be prepared for that. Patriotic. So here's one for our ass kicking Prime Minister. I think he'll enjoy this. A golden oldie for a golden oldie.
Um, Mary, I've been thinking. Can we move the Japanese ambassador to four o'clock tomorrow? Certainly, sir. Terrific. Thanks so much. Dear sir, dear David, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a very happy new year. I'm very sorry about the thing that happened. It was a very odd moment, and I feel like a prize idiot. Particularly because if you can't say it at Christmas, when can you, eh? I'm actually yours with love. You're Natalie. Jack, yeah, I need a car. Hello, does Natalie live here? No. Right, fine, thank you. Sorry to disturb. Yeah, I'm... Aren't you the Prime Minister? Uh, yes. In fact, I am. Merry Christmas. Oh. Part of the service now. I'm trying to get round everyone by New Year's Eve. Oh. Ah, hello. Uh, does Natalie live here? No, she doesn't. Oh, dear. OK. Are you singing carols? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Please, sir, please. Please. Well, I, mean, I suppose I could. Please. All right. Yay! Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. When, when the, the snow, snow lay round about, deep, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon that night. Hello. Sorry to disturb. Does Natalie live here? No. She lives next door. Oh, where the fuck is my fucking coat? Oh. Hello. Hello. Um. This is my mum and my dad and my Uncle Tony and my Auntie Glyn. Hi. Very nice to meet you. And um, this is the Prime Minister. Yes, <laughs> we can see that, darling. And um, unfortunately, we're very late. It's the school Christmas concert, you see, David. Ah. It is the first time all the local schools have joined together. Even St Basil. Too much you? detail, Mum. Uh, anyway, uh, how can we help, sir? Well, I just needed... Natalie. Look, I'm so sorry about that day. I mean, I came into the room and he sinked towards me and there was a fire and he's the President of the United States and nothing happened, I promise. And I just felt like such a fool because I think about you all the time, actually. And I think you're the man that I really love. Oh, wow. That really was just around the corner. Uh... Um... Oh! Come on in, we can watch from backstage. OK. Uh, Terry, I won't be long. But look, this, um, this has to be a very secret visit, OK? Don't worry, this is my school. I know my way around. Come on. So not quite as secret as we'd hoped. What do we do now? Smile. We'll bow. Yeah. Yeah. 